Pope Francis has proceeded with his main goal of dismissing his devotees from conventional Christian lessons, disclosing to Catholics that there is no paradise, limbo, or hell fire. Eugenio Scalfari, a nearby individual associate of Pope Francis, wrote in La Repubblica, Pope Francis has cancelled the spots where souls should follow demise, heck, limbo, paradise. Pope Francis has additionally begun risking revamping the expressions of sacred scripture as he sees fit, adding satanic topics to Bible verses. For instance, in the morning lesson at Santa Marta on September 4, 2014, Francis totally switched the importance of a verse from the Bible, dishonestly ascribing to St. Paul these sinister words, I brag just of my wrongdoings. Pope Francis at that point closed the lecture by welcoming the dependable present to gloat of their own transgressions, robbery, kill, infidelity, before deriding Jesus, who innocently excused them on the cross. Yet, in none of Paul's letters can such an articulation be found. Pope Francis was instructing false sacred writing. The witness rather says of himself, on the off chance that it is important to gloat, I will brag of my shortcomings. 2 Corinthians 11:30. subsequent to having recorded every one of the hardships of his life, the detainments, the floggings, the wrecks. Pope Francis was likewise gotten on radio not long ago endeavoring to hoodwink his run and steer them far from Jesus Christ, telling audience members that Jesus transformed into Satan. Blaming Jesus for degrading himself up to the point of absolutely demolishing himself. Pope Francis spread satanic tenet further when he said that Jesus Christ made himself the fallen angel, the serpent, for us, as per leader Osservator Romano, the everyday daily paper of the Vatican. The shocking explanation by Pope Francis comes after he broke with hundreds of years of Christian custom prior this year, telling a pack of 33,000 Catholics in Rome that an individual, immediate, close association with Jesus Christ must be evaded no matter what. Having an individual association with Jesus is hazardous and exceptionally unsafe, the Pope said amid the June 25 discourse. Raising feelings of trepidation that he is the false prophet predicted in sacred writing and prescience. These satanic proclamations are simply the most recent eyebrow-raising declarations by the Jesuit Pope. In July Pope Francis told the Italian daily paper La Repubblica that the United States of America has a twisted vision of the world and Americans must be led by a world government, at the earliest opportunity, for their own great. The prior week he additionally required a one-world government and political expert, contending that the production of the one-world government is expected to battle significant issues, for example, environmental change. Talking with Ecuador's El Universo daily paper, the Pope said that the United Nations doesn't have enough power and should be conceded full legislative control for the benefit of mankind. The globalization development can't be belittled. It is the way toward changing the world into a worldwide government while dissolving the privileges of the individual and taking endlessly our flexibilities. World religious pioneers, drove by the inexorably against Christian Pope Francis, are assuming a main part in this extraordinary trickiness. David Rockefeller broadly said that a worldwide emergency would need to happen before the general population of the world would acknowledge a new world order. Beyond any doubt enough, when the world economy endured a sensational crash in 2008, World pioneers again announced the requirement for a new world order with worldwide budgetary control. As showed by Pope Francis, environmental change and the a worldwide temperature alteration trick are presently the worldwide tip-tops favored techniques for scaremongering, as they endeavor to shepherd humankind nearer to bound together totalitarian detainment. Pope Francis is resolved to control his rush far from Jesus Christ. The pontiff who held Islamic supplications in the Vatican, and later cautioned his adherents not to go into an individual association with Jesus, is voracious wolf masked as a white sheep. The Jesuit pope is a main player in the plot to introduce a new world order, resolved to deceive his rush while serving the worldwide 